What's going on guys? We are Tottenham TV here and it's another match preview for you guys today. Jose Mourinho's first game in charge. Is it Jose? Jose? I don't know. A lot of the comments are saying I'm pronouncing it wrong by saying Jose. I guess we'll have to learn. People are saying, oh, it's Jose. It's not Jose. He's not Spanish. All right, Jose. Jose Mourinho's first game in charge of Tottenham Hotspur Football Club. I never thought I'd be saying those words. We go to West Ham at 12.30 on Saturday in a London derby. It's going to be an absolutely massive occasion. Mourinho's first game, Pellegrini under serious pressure for West Ham. They're sliding down the table. They're actually in worse form than us, surprisingly enough. They're in 16th place, and we're going to preview this game for you. West Ham have only won one of the last eight Premier League games at home to Man United, winning 2-0. They've only... That's the... To one of only two home wins, I believe, this season. They've lost five of their last six games. If anyone was in worse form than, than Spurs so far this season, uh, it has been West Ham. Only winning one game since the end of August. They're in big trouble. So they're, But they always, always, always raise their game for Tottenham because it's their cup final. It's their biggest game. It's their biggest derby of the season. It's the game they look out for. So you can't take this game lightly. Jose, it's going to be very interesting to see how Jose Mourinho, Jose Mourinho, uh, lines up his team. It's going to be interesting to see what he's seen in training the past few days, who he thinks is more equipped for formation he plays in this game. Eric Dyer, obviously we know, is a big fan of his, so is he going to come into the team? Is he going to go with his preferred 4-3-3 formation, or is he going to keep it um, similar to Pochettino's Dyer, the diamond formation of 4-2-3-1? I'm looking forward to see that game. I think... People who are thinking we're going to come into this game and park the bus and not try and go and go and attack, I think. Uh, I don't think that's going to be the case. I know he has this reputation for parking the bus, which ironically was coined by Mourinho in his first game ever against Tottenham. Back in 2004, we got a nil-nil draw away at Chelsea and he accused us of parking the bus in front of the goal. And that's where the the phrase was coined. So I'm wondering if he's kind of regretting that now, seeing as it's become so synonymous of his style of play. But anyway, I think we're going to play an attacking brand of football. Not brand, but we, we, he said in his press conference that he's not looking to make wholesale changes to the way we play. He's not looking to make loads and loads of changes to the, to the team and and the philosophy so far, he needs to just kind of update it. So I'm still expecting Tottenham to play on the front foot to try and win this game. And I think it's going to give these police players our new lease of life. I know Pochettino we're all grateful for the job he's done, but clearly the players had stopped listening to him. Clearly his message was falling on deaf ears, and they needed a fresh voice in that dressing room. And I think Jose Mourinho, Jose, could really be that man to provide that winning mentality and that. And that know-how that we really need to be getting over the line. Uh, the, obviously, the big threats for West Ham have got to be uh, Sebastian Aller, their new signing uh, in the summer. He's bagged uh, how many goals has he bagged this season? He has bagged four goals in 11 games with one assist as well. He's a big target man up front. He's been a threat pretty much every time I've seen him. And he's one of those players we're going to have to kind of stop the supply to his chest and, and, and to his head because he can be lethal if you give him the chance um, to use his physical presence up front. He's the one I would look out for. Obviously, Andre Yarmolenko was going through some really good form. He's a player that Tottenham have been into many, many times. I'm a big fan of his. I think he's a quality technical player. I'm not so sure how suited he is to the Premier League. But when he's given the, when given the chance this season, uh, and a few times last season for that horrible injury that rolled him out for over a year, I thought he's impressed quite, quite a lot. And I thought this season, that for some reason, he's been dropped for the last few games. But he was going for a very good run of form, scoring at home to Man United in a 2-0 win. Um, he's a guy who likes to cut in from the right-hand side on his left foot. And he's so dangerous on 25 yards. Um, he's got a very good long-range shot. And if you give him time and space, he can really hurt you. So he's another one I'd look out for. Obviously, their, their, injury, uh, their injury list... Um, Shows no surprises of Jack Wilshere heading that list. He was he joined West Ham thinking maybe this could be a new start for him, but the same old things have been plaguing him. I mean, what do you think of Wilshere? Injuries is my uh, answer to that. Uh, Felipe Anderson, who had a great season for the majority of last season, has really struggled pretty much since the turn of the year, um, like Spurs pretty much. Um, and he hasn't done that well this season. No goals so far. He's had a couple of assists. But after the back of last season being linked to clubs like Real Madrid and a few other big teams, it looked like he was going to 
uh, kick on from last season, but it hasn't quite happened for him. And then there's also Declan Rice, who's come into the England squad. He's now a starter for England pretty much for most games. He's been linked with big moves to Man United. And he looks like he's replaced uh, Eric Dyer in, in in the England squad in, in that versatile role. He can play centre-back, can play in midfield. He sits at the base uh, of a midfield and protects that back four. And I think Dyer his must be looking at him if he... Uh, if, to replace in the England squad if he's going to be able to do that. Declan Rice has come on leaps and bounds. I'm going to give him, give him credit. I'm a bit of a fan of his. I think he's a good player. Um, but I think he's on Eric Dyer's level. If Eric Dyer can reach the level he used to be at, then I think that's where... I think they're on similar levels. I think just Declan Rice is playing at a level where Eric Dyer was a few years ago. So he's quite, he has to try and come back and reach that level. Where I think they're vulnerable... Is I do think their defense is uh is vulnerable. I know it's a Diop, another player linked with big moves. He um he's he's a decent player, but with their fullbacks aging, Cresswell and Zabaleta, who've played most of their games this season, their the, the pace on the wings could be crucial. Hopefully, we we'll put Son and Lucas up against them and get them and run them ragged because that could really cause some problems. And one massive uh, weakness that I sense in this West Ham team is their goalkeeping situation because Fabianski has been ruled out with a long-term injury and they've brought in this guy, Roberto, who they signed in the summer. Probably didn't expect him to play that many games and he has been shocking, absolutely shocking um, in what I've seen him so far. And he's a, he's a half-decent shot stop. He's made a few good saves, but if you put him under pressure, he he can crumble. And you saw that, I think it was against Burnley the other week. He punched one of the balls into, into his own net from a corner and he got bullied for another from another corner, which allowed Burnley to get another goal. So this guy on the set pieces, if you put the ball under the crossbar and try and aim to exploit him, he can he could struggle. I'm not sure this guy is suited to the Premier League at all. So that's how I see um, the analyze that West Ham squad. I think West Ham are very are, are struggling big time, as I said. So, but they're going to be well up for it, knowing that we. That we uh, got our first manager, they they would love nothing more to than inflict uh, uh, Jose Mourinho's first defeat in his reign as Spurs manager, especially in his first game at, in his debut. Seeing as they were the first team to win at the new Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, they they're gonna. Uh, have a lot of pride in that. So this is their biggest game. They're going to be well up for it. But Tottenham have to take advantage of their frailties. We have to be. Uh, they have to be on the front foot to impress their new manager. Hopefully, the, uh, we'll have a fresh approach. We're going to have a fresh team out in this in um, in this game. I think. I'm hoping someone like Deli Ali can really start striking his stuff in this game. I think he can make a massive difference. I think him and Harry Kane, who obviously after firing uh, in the international break, should be full of confidence in this game, scoring a hat-trick against Montenegro and got another goal against Kosovo. That was four goals in midweek, so he should be full of confidence and hopefully he's fit in firing. And then I'm hoping that the fullback that, that we can exploit West Ham's fullbacks with Hume Son, maybe Lucas Moura, and maybe Deli Ali floating in behind in that Lampard role that uh, Mourinho kind of developed for him. Um... What I'm, what I'm worried about is that defensive situation. Vertonghen looks like he's ruled out. So it looks like we know it'll be interesting to see if Mourinho does play Sanchez because we know uh, after that, these comments post uh, the Europa League win when Man United beat Ajax, he's not Sanchez's biggest fan. But will he have an option whether he plays Foyf at centre back or does he go Foyf with right back and Aurier, um, Aurier um, sorry, Foyf right back and Sanchez centre back or does he play Aurier? It's going to be interesting to see. I think the most interesting to see how he lines up his defence. Um, I think midfield is going to be an interesting battle, but I think Mark Noble has old legs and I think we can bully them with whether we play Sissoko, Wings, Ndombele, um or Eric Dyer. I think we should have the legs on West Ham in midfield. We should be able to dominate. Um, but it's exciting. It's just exciting to see how we're going to approach this game under this new manager. It's going to be something fresh. It's going to be an electric atmosphere, probably. Well, not not necessarily with that new with that Olympic Stadium. The atmosphere is not necessarily the best, but the atmosphere they should be up for it. The fans. So I'm excited for this London derby. I'm going to go for two, three, one to Tottenham in this game. I think we're going to. Be on the front foot. I think they're going to be out to impress. I think Son's going to get a couple of goals and Kane will bag another. I think we're going to be able to exploit their fullbacks. I think West Ham's poor form is going to continue. And I think Mourinho is going to get off 
to a winning start in the London derby. Nothing's for granted, but let us know in the comments below. How do you think this game is going to, going to go? Where do you think the weak points and the strong points are for this West Ham team? How do you think Mourinho is going to approach the game? And what are your predictions? Let us know in the comments below. Like and, describe and subscribe if you like the content. And as always, come on you Spurs. <laughs>